Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ward Geek. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Silver Bug Only Run. Time to wake up Snorlax. Go to the radio. You can only do this after you've uh, helped out in Lavender and got the radio tower back to work in order. There's the Pokefloat channel. And wake up Snorlax. Pokemon Hero is placed near the sleeping Snorlax. Snorlax woke up. Oh, snap at Snorlax! Level 50, that's pretty damn powerful. Now this thing does have, uh, leftovers. So if you wanna use Thief on it, I won't because I got rid of it. Uh, you can, you have a chance of getting back, or getting back, getting leftovers. So, there you go. Now, Leftovers is a hold item that lets you regain health. Specifically, I think, one-eighth? No. Not one-eighth, that's a little too overpowered. Oh, wait, maybe it is one-eighth. I don't remember. But, um, yeah, Leftovers regains your health after every turn, so that's power. That's kind of OP, I guess you can call it. Do -do 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 -do. There's Leftovers. Now, Snorlax is a special defense wall. It can rest... It can withstand a lot of special attacks. What? Why didn't it use Snore earlier? Weird. Anyway, this should knock it out. Now, Snorlax does have a lot of HP and a lot of uh, special defense, making it a really good wall for special attacks. So if, you're, if you know you're going up against a special attacker, use Snorlax. Uh, does it drop the leftovers? No, it doesn't. Oh well. Um... Let's see. To go through Diglett's Cave, we gotta go through Diglett's Cave. After we go through Diglett's Cave, we're through Diglett's Cave. Got that? Cool. Alright, Diglett's Cave. And we're out of Diglett's Cave! And we're in Viridian Forest, apparently. Yes, Viridian Forest has become deforested. Ah! Yep, it's become deforested, and now it's just a straight path from, uh. Wow. Hey, it's Ash's Pidge Pidgeotto. So now it's just a straight path from Pewter to Viridian. You don't gotta go through Viridian Forest anymore. But here we are. Jigglypuff! 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 Oh my god, it's Jigglypuff! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Let's talk to it and make the dude next to us fall asleep. <laughs> Sucker. Do 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 do. How about no? I don't wanna really waste time. Let's go! To fight Brock, Brack, Brack, Brock Obama. Did I just go there? Sorry. Oh, we gotta fight you. You're 10 million light years from facing Brock, who still can't see nothing. Trainers at this gym use Rock type Pokemon. The Rock type has high defense. Battles could end up going a long time. Are you ready for this? Trainers? You mean the two of you? I'm sorry, but that just seems a little unnecessary. Rock Pokemon, he says as he throws a Sand Slash at me. I mean, he throws a Pokeball containing a Sand Slash at me. Ugh. Rock type, huh? Not ground type, right? I'm glad we got that established. Bye now. Jesus. I mean, Sand Slash. Why you gotta be so slow and not special offensive? Let us use some PP ups if we have any. I seem to. Yep, we have some. Uh, Giga Drain. PP up. Giga Drain. PP up. Giga Drain. And then Elixir, because I think it stays at the same uh, uh, usage if you use a PP up in this game. Wow, it's not often that we get a challenger from Johto. I'm Brock, the pewter gym leader. I'm an expert on rock-type Pokemon. My Pokemon are impervious to m most physical attacks. You'll have a hard time inflicting any damage. Get it hard time? Come on! Rock did I say? Did I say rock? I meant Brock was a is a pretty bad... Yeah. Is pretty badass in the manga. Like, he gets pissed off when he realizes that Red has just been fighting with a Poliwhirl and a... And a Bulbasaur, and then he just chooses Pikachu. He gets pissed. 
And then Red pulls an Ash for some reason and wins with a Thunder with an electric attack. For some reason. Don't ask me why, but he does. I forget if Brock has an Aerodactyl. I know he has Kabutops and, uh... And, uh, Amistar. Two fossils. I wonder if he has a third one. So here's his Trump already. I mean, uh... Here's his previous Trump. Now I think Kabutops is his Trump. His powerhouse. His... Whatever. What's funny is that Jasmine was more of a threat than this guy. Oh, he has a Rhyhorn, okay. So his team, just so you don't know, is Graveler, Rhyhorn, uh, Omastar, uh, dip, 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 I can't talk. It is Graveler, Rhyhorn, Omastar, Onyx, Kabutops. There we go. Finally got a sentence, though. Do, 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 do. Do 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 do. star, I'm a star, I'm a star. Fun fact: Omanite and Machop had the same cry. I said had because I don't think they. I don't know if they changed it or not. Doesn't ma doesn't matter how much damage you deal with Spike Cannon. I'll heal it immediately. That's how awesome Giga Drain is, and how weak Brock is, and when he's faced with a grass move. Because all of his Pokemon are quadruply weak to grass. Bring a grass user, you won't go wrong. That was beautiful! Got a great, awesome, outstanding, amazing! Kabutops! I get hit for sandstorm damage. Giga Drain? Oh no, Slash, it didn't do a critical hit. You're screwed again, bro. Actually, no. Onyx was his powerhouse. What am I talking about? Kabutops is level 42. His Onyx was 44. Oh, Brock. He only leveled 30 times. Not even. Since Red and Blue. Damn. Bye, Brock. Your Pokemon's powerful attack, so it overcame my rock hard defense. You're stronger than I expected. Go ahead, take this badge. Okay. Oh, the memories of receiving the Boulder Badge in red. Thanks for battling you, even though I am a bit upset. The Boulder Badge will make your Pokemon evolve even more powerful. Because you know, badges that your trainer is supposed to wear on his uh on his vest is supposed to make your Pokemon more powerful. Or does that make the Pokemon seem more powerful? I don't know. It's just one of those Pokemon things. What's this? A Max Potion, that's actually useful. Better than the Hidden Potion north of Cerulean. Was there something here? A full heal. Let's use a Repel, guys. I don't think I can make it through here without running into a wild Pokemon. Thank God I don't want to get another PSN Cure Bear, Poison Cure. Anything over there? What's this? Dire head, don't need it. What's up here? Nothing. Hey! Let me down! Avoid you. And Viridian! Yes! Wait, is there still a potion here? No, I don't want to use cut. Wait, where'd it go? Where did it oh? I think they changed that from the first Wait, there's another path down there? What the heck? I don't remember that. Makes you seem like you're coming back home. Like, back to your roots. Hey, Oak. Oh, what a you? It's good of you to come all this way to Kanto. What do you think of the trainers out here? Pretty tough. No. Hi, you're collecting Kanto gym badges. I imagine that it's hard, but experience, sure. Come see me when you get them all. I'll have a gift for you. Keep trying hard, what a G. How's your Pokedex coming? Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Good. I see you understand how to use Pokeballs. Shut your face! I know how to use Pokeballs. If you're in the area, I hope you come visit again. So what you gotta do to unlock the final, final battle, and by that I mean the battle with Red from the first games, you got to beat all the gym leaders, then come back to them. And to do that, you gotta defeat Blue. To get Blue to come back to his gym... Wait. Don't want her to fight me. To get Blue to come back to his gym, you have to talk to him at Cinnabar Island, which is just... 
recently uh, been hit with a volcano attack, a well, volcano eruption, and has been completely burned down, or destroyed rather. So Blaine, the gym leader of that air of that gym on uh, Cinnabar Island, has been moved. What has been moved to the Seafoam Islands to rebuild the gym? In Hard Gold, Still Silver, he actually made it a little more elaborate, well, a lot more elaborate than what he has right now. He actually has more gym trainers in Hard Gold, Still Silver than he does in here. But, as you can see, this is now Cinnabar Island. It's kind of closed off right now. And, uh, you didn't see any buildings yet? There's only one building left, and that's the Pokemon Center. Pretty upset. Uh, upsetting. Upset? It's pretty upset! Because, you know, the island has feelings. And if I was talking about a person, it is therefore an it. Tochu Kaso. Run! Running! Hey! Blue! Sup? Who are you? Well, it's plain to see that you're a trainer. My name's Blue. I was once the champion, although it was for only a short time. The meddling red did me in. Anyway, what do you want? You want to challenge me or something? I hate to say it, but I'm not in the mood for a battle now. Take a good look around you. A volcano erupts and just like that, a whole town disappears. We can go on winning and losing in Pokemon, but if nature so much as twitches, we can lose in a second. That's the way it is, Ellipsis. But anyway, I'm still a trainer. If I see a strong opponent, it makes me want to battle. If you want to battle me, come to the Viridian Gym. I'll take you on then. Uh, I think in Hard Gold, Soul Silver, you actually had to wait until, like, you had to beat Bl all seven of the Kanto Gym leaders before you uh, fought him. Could be wrong on that, though. If I am, then I'm wrong, but... Whatever. Um, I think I got enough time to just go to the go to the gym. Let's get one hit knockout out. You just had to turn around. Well, you've been swimming in place for a while, Cameron. Meryl. Why are you using a Meryl? Why not use an Azumarill? I know it's in this game. So why aren't you using Azumarill? I have never... S I don't... On second thought, I don't think I've ever seen a Poco a trainer in, uh, in this game use an Azumarill. I know it's in this game. But they haven't... But none of them have used one. That is weird. Damn! Okay. So here's the gym now. There's Blaine. Wah! My gym and Cinnabar burnt down. My fire-breathing Pokemon and I are homeless because of the volcano. Wah! But I'm back in, a bu in business as a gym leader here in this cave. If you can beat me, I'll give you a badge. Ha! You better have burn heal. On that note, I'll end it here. So hopefully you enjoyed this part of Pokemon Silver Bug Only Run. This is Woody Geek. I'll see you guys later.